Hi there YouTubers and uh, welcome to my YouTube tutorial. Uh, this time around I'm going to show you how to record audio uh, into Cubase. Right? If you want to learn how to configure your audio settings in order for you to connect your sound card or your audio interface uh, onto Cubase so that you can use it in, uh, with Cubase, then check out uh, my previous video uh, which is titled uh, Configuring Audio Settings. Right? Thank you so much for watching. So now uh, having done what we did in the previous video, right, all the settings, now it's time for you to record our audio into Cubase, right? So we have these work zones. If you want to see your mixer, you come this side. All right, we click here. When you click there, you're going to see the mixer. And it will show you your input, right? So this controls the level of the sound or of the signal where my microphone is connected on the sound card. That means that's where you can lower it if it's, if it's low, I mean, if it's high, and you can actually raise it if it's low. If you see that it's distorting, then just go to your stereo in tab here, this one, the one that shows in red, and then you, you reduce the volume of your, of, your, of your audio coming from that source. Right, uh, so what do you do now when you want to record audio, right? So you make sure that you go to plus. There is a plus there that you click on and then choose audio. And then here you can now choose your, um, your configuration, right? So if it is a beat that you want to bring into Cubase, uh, an already pre-recorded beat or instrumental, you must choose uh, stereo, right? So after choosing stereo, then just click add track, and then it will show you the, the track on the first channel, right? So this is the first track, right? And you can expand it here. Okay, so this is where the beat is going to go. So how do you import a beat? So there are two ways you can either use file, import then choose audio file and then go to where your bit is located right wherever your bit is located you just find it and then you can um you can choose it right so where do i have bits here i have bits um here i believe there's a bit here and i can just click on it and then choose open and say okay right and the bit will come through right the second way, let me delete this channel. So I will show you this. I will show you the second easier way of um, of uh, Im uh, importing a beat, right? So the second way is simply for you to just go to your folder where the beat is, and then just find the beat, and then simply drag it and drop it uh, into your channel, into an empty channel, and Cubase will automatically open a stereo channel for that bit. Just make sure that you drag it right uh, to the beginning, right, uh, from zero, zero minutes, uh, zero seconds, right. So that's uh, my bit now in the pool. So you can even play it back. Uh, just go down and click play, and then the bit will, will start uh, playing, right. To stop, just click stop here. Right now, if you want to record uh, vocals, the first vocal, for example, that you want to record, let's say it's the lead voice or is the lead instrument, anything else, you just click on the plus again, choose audio. Already we have set our, um, our inputs here, input number one. So now we don't need to change anything there. So now simply choose mono, right? For any microphone input that you want to record, you must choose um, mono, right? Then simply select add track all right after uh, adding the track now the track opens up here right so it is activated if there's a red um, box here then it means that it is activated for recording that's where the audio is supposed to go all right so um now just go to the beginning right you can rewind and go to the beginning or click this so you can go to the beginning of the track so that you can now start uh, recording, all right? How then do you record, right? On the transport panel, you will see the record button that is there, right? So simply click uh, record and you see audio coming in to uh, channel number two. One, two, one, two, right? As you can see, there is audio coming into the, uh, into the channel, right? So uh, I'm recording my microphone onto channel number, uh, number two. Uh, whilst on channel number one, the beat is uh, is playing, right? So to stop recording, simply uh, press stop, right? And then you can click the first button on the transport panel 
and then you can click play so you can play back what you have uh, recorded all right so uh, now you will be able to hear your beat and as well as your recorded microphone signal all right some people love working with colors when it comes to their channels so just click on the particular channel that you want to change the color come here and then simply choose a color uh, uh, click here and then simply choose um, a color right and then for the second one right I'll click here and then come here and then I'll choose green for example right so now I have two channels on my uh, in my project right uh, now I can also remove the mixer if I don't want to see the mixer for now right uh, so basically this is how you do audio recording and um, Cubase Pro whether it's Cubase 11 Pro or whether it's Cubase uh, 12 Pro right so next time we're going to uh, uh, get into how you actually mix audio in Cubase uh, Pro after you have recorded your channels like these ones how do you then start doing your mixing in Cubase Pro thank you for watching please like and uh, subscribe to my channel um, for more videos Thank you.